Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to show you how to unlock your Android pattern or PIN code. So what to do when you have forgotten your unlock pattern or password on your Android device? If you forget the password or pattern that blocks your Android device or a child or relative was playing with it and entered the wrong password or pattern enough times that it's now locked, this video will help you. Whatever the reason, in this video I will tell you what to do to unlock your Android phone. So if you find this video helpful then please subscribe me and give thumbs up. So let's start. There are several ways to unlock your device without resetting it and without losing all of your data. Number 1 with Gmail account, number 2 Android SDK tools and number 3 with Aruma file manager. In all these 3 methods your data will be saved. And the last one is full factory reset. So let's start with number 1 Google recovery account. To access your device when it has been locked or forget password you can access it with your Google account. After you have tried multiple times to unlock your device, you will see forget pattern on your lock screen. When prompted, enter the Google account's ID and password, which you previously added to your device or in Play Store. And now reset your device lock screen. And the second method is to unlock pattern lock on Android phone without losing data. First of all, download Android SDK. I have given the link in description or open your browser and type Android SDK tools. After such website is showing, go to developer.android.com and download Android Studio. Click here and download Android Studio Bundle. Now the downloading is start. After downloading, open this and install Android Studio. It may take 5 to 10 minutes to install. So the requirement is USB debugging should be enabled before your Android device was locked. The process will may not be helpful if you don't have specific and compatible drivers for your phone. So you should be very careful while installing your device compatible drivers. Step to unlock Android pattern lock. Connect your locked Android phone with PC or laptop via USB cable. Then open folder where you installed Android SDK tools user. I have installed this in C partition. Go to C partition, user, app data, local, android, then android sdk and open the folder platform tools and then hold shift button and right click in the blank space and select open command windows here. It will open command window, then you have to put some commands in the command window. For checking your device is connected or not, put command adb devices. Now here is showing device. Then put this command adb space shell space rm slash data slash system slash gesture dot key. and press enter. You can copy these commands in the description below. I have given these commands in description. Once you've done these steps, you have to reboot your Android device. Now it's all done. After rebooting your device, you will see the pattern lock disabled. So in this method, USB debugging should be enabled before lock. If it is not enabled, then you cannot proceed further step. The next method is with Aruma app. Step 1. Download the Aruma file manager zip from the link in description below or open your browser and type Aruma file manager. 
After search, you will see the XTA developer website. Go to that link. Scroll down and click on Aroma File Manager to download. Step number two. After download, copy it in your memory card. Then insert the memory card into your locked Android device. Step number three. First, ensure your device is fully shut down. Press and hold the correct keys to boot the device into recovery mode. This will vary from device to device. Here are some key combinations for recovery mode. Press and hold power button plus home button plus volume down button. In most Samsung devices, power button plus home button plus volume up button is works. So you can find your key combination for recovery mode or just go to Google and type your mobile model number and search for the keys for recovery mode. Step number 4. Release the button when the device is powered on. You may need to hold the buttons for several seconds. You will see the device booting into recovery mode. Step number 5. Press the volume up and volume down keys to scroll up or down through menu options and select install zip from SD card. And press the power button to confirm your selection. Now give pass to install Aroma File Manager from SD card. After this you will get Aroma File Manager opened again. Step number 7. Now go to data folder, then system folder and find gesture.key or password.key or pattern lock or password lock respectively. If you are using pattern lock, you will find gesture.key or if you are using pin code, you will find password.key. Step number 8. Hit the menu button and delete the gesture.key or password.key and then exit Aroma File Manager and reboot your Android device. After rebooting, you will notice that password or pattern lock is not removed. But don't worry, draw any pattern and you will open your Android device. That's it for this method. If you will face any problem regarding this method, you can comment down below or you can follow the next method full factory reset. In this step, you will need to perform a full factory reset which will unfortunately result in the loss of all data on your device. However, any data saved to your SD card will not be lost. Simply remove the SD card as a precaution before performing a factory reset. Step number 1. Make sure that the device is fully turned off. Step number 2. Find your device key combination and press and hold it to boot your Android device in recovery mode. Check this list for correct keys combination. Step number 3. Release the buttons when the device is powered on. You may need to hold the buttons for several seconds. You will see the device booting into recovery mode. Step number 4. Press the volume up and volume down keys to scroll up and down through menu options. Step number 5. Select wipe data factory reset with the volume keys. Step number 6. Press the power button to confirm your selection. Step number 7. Continue to use the volume down button. Select yes, delete all user data. Step number 8. Press the power button to confirm your selection. Step number 9. Your device will now be reset to its factory default state. All your data will be erased. Note that while a standard factory reset should not erase the content of your SD card, we still recommend removing it as an added precaution. So it's all done. In conclusion, I feel that you have learned some interesting facts about how to unlock pattern lock on Android. But few people may use this to hack but you should rather use this in a right way to help someone or yourself. If you have any question, leave your comment below. Click on the red subscribe button for more videos. 
and i will see you in the next one